Hey guys, how you doing? My name is John and welcome to my Nostalgia Holic channel. In this video, this will be a review, review over the classic Nintendo Power Volume. This is Volume 23. came out in April of 1991. So a lot of the games in this issue are going to be talking about NES games, classic Nintendo Entertainment System games, as well as Game Boy games. So it looks like it's going to feature uh, Power Blade, uh, it's going to talk about Game Boy, Giant, it's going to talk about Monopoly and other classic games during this time. These are really cool classic issues. So let's take a closer look and thanks for watching. Here it is, this is the, the Nintendo Power, um, and this is volume 23. It retailed for 350 US, Canadian it was 450. Uh, Power Blade is the cover, uh, kind of interesting art cover there. They had these really weird art covers back then. Uh, in the back, you just have an uh, advertisement for um, service for your Nintendo products. Still in good shape, you even have on the side there, you have a volume 23 and Nintendo Power right there, so you can display them and know which one you're grabbing. Here's an uh, advertisement for uh, if you're interested in subscribing to Nintendo Power. I don't know why he has controllers upside down there. Table of contents. Uh, you have Power Blade. Uh, that's page 8. Totally rad. Uh, Swordmaster. SCAT. SCAT. Uh, Monopoly. And it's going to go over the Game Boy. Tips from the pros. Video updates. Special report. British Invasion. Player's Pulse. And the Info Zone. First section is the Player's Pulse. This is where people can write in, mail in questions and, and pictures, all that good stuff. Power Blade, this is a Tato game. I'm not sure if it's based on arcade or not. Uh, most likely it probably is, but uh, I can't say I've ever played this game. It's a side-scrolling game, looks very interesting. They also have, this is interesting, this game pack. This is um, information about the game review. So they're actually doing reviews now. They're giving a scale of one to five, one being really bad, five being good. Uh, what would you rate this game? So the graphics and sound, this is 3.7 out of five. Play control is four. Challenge and Excitement is 4.2, and Theme and Fun is 4. So that's interesting. They started doing that here the, around this issue. Uh, pre previous reviews, they weren't really nice reviews, they were just walkthroughs. And this is still a walkthrough. They didn't really talk about uh, the good and bad of the game. At this point, you got seven sectors. It's going to cover all the different enemies in the left, uh, left corner there. This looks almost like Robocop meets Mega Man. This looks interesting. Sector 6 and Sector 7. This is a Howard and Nestor comic book series. This is an interesting series. Now, this is a mini comic book series that they would have a couple pages in each episode or volume of, of Nintendo Power. Uh, Nestor was kind of facing Nintendo Power for a while. He was in one uh, game for Nintendo that was, I think, Nestor's Bowling for the Virtual Boy, but they didn't really have many other games. They don't have it anymore. They don't do the com uh, comic series anymore. Subscription bonus. This is totally rad. I have played this game. It's not totally rad, in my opinion, but. Uh, it's definitely interesting, a classic one for Nintendo for sure. And it goes through all the different acts. There looks like there's six acts it goes through. This is a classified information area. This is where uh, these are like tips and secret codes for various Nintendo games. For example, with the Turtles 2, the arcade game, it says right here, if you are on the main tile screen, press up or down five times, right seven times on the control pad, then press B and A button and start. After that, you can actually select your, your stage, which is really neat. Uh, one of my favorite games for, for the NES, Great Fighter, Beat em Up. Uh, one of my favorite arcade games of all time. Again, you got v Adventure Island 2, uh, codes and stuff like that. Adventure Island series is super hard, uh, especially the first one, being stuck on that. <laughs> Silver Surfer, you got more. And then this is a Control, after again, this is more Shadow of the Ninja. You got Sword Master, the Duel of Destiny. This looks like a side scroller, uh, almost like a, a Castlevania style game. Uh, it has been a while since I've played this one as well, but it does look good. Let's see uh, who made Activision tells you who makes it, and then graphics and sound. Challenge Excitement is 2.9, not very good. Theme and Fun is 3.1, and graphics sound is 3.4, and play control is 3.3. So it didn't really get great reviews by Nintendo. We got seven stages. The British Invasion talks about a tour of English developers, talks about uh, the different, well, you know, uh, rare. It's soft or rare, it's, you know, RC Pram uh, making, uh, you also got uh, Image Soft. It talks about just different game developers. Uh, Dragon's Lair is right there. It's a completely different game for the NES uh, based on the arcade. Totally different. RC Pram is an awesome game, though. Rare. You got Ocean, Elite, Software Creations. Uh, this is SCAT, a special uh, cybernetic attack team. See who is this by? This is by Data Box. Can't say I've heard of them before. Uh, got pretty good reviews. Big Control 4.1 is pretty decent. Like, you know, above average reviews, I'd say. There's 
side scroller. Here is the poster. Looks like it's a Sim City poster. How cool is that? And then you got the dinosaur attacking the building. You got the helicopter here. That is pretty awesome. So, um, Sim City. That's interesting. Cause, you know, this is a time when uh, Super Nintendo is starting to come out, and that was one of the launch titles, I believe, for the Super Nintendo. Uh, really fantastic game, uh, Sim City. Check that out if you have a Super Nintendo. Now here's the Game Boy Special Features. Some of these games are, are interesting because they're not necessarily the same. Like there's our type. That is not the image they use for our type. Uh, actual uh, game itself. You got Pac-Man. Same kind of thing. I don't think that's just the Pac-Man that they use. But you know, this is still earlier stages of these games. You got Sword of Hope. This is an RPG. And they don't give it a rating for some reason. They don't rate the Game Boy games. At least uh, this one they didn't. Like the NES games. I guess these are more preview sneak peeks, so I guess they haven't really rated them. Ultima, which is a very famous series of games, uh, especially on the PC. That's been ported to a lot of consoles and stuff like that. Our type is all the games have been ported to a couple, you know, number of consoles and, and computers. That's arcade as well. It's just a really fun game. Uh, here is Mickey's Dangerous Chase. I remember having this game. I have this game. And uh, the Mickey games aren't as good as the Genesis games. I love the Mickey Genesis games. Uh, they just weren't really poured over to the NES or Game Boy nearly as well. Even for the Super Nintendo for that matter. Uh, you got Superstars. I have, I have this game too, WWF Superstars. It's back when it was WWF, not WWE. Um, but you had the classic ones like Mr. Perfect, Hulk Hogan, uh, Randy Savage. I think Randy Savage just passed away recently, unfortunately. So, uh, rest in peace, Randy. Here's Pac-Man. Uh, most of us know what Pac-Man's about. Uh, Caesar's Palace. Council's Corner, uh, Final Fantasy Legends, which wasn't necessarily Final Fantasy, in my understanding, but they just put the name on there. It's, it's definitely nothing like any other Final Fantasy. It's more of a, an adventure game uh, rather than an RPG game. Still a good one, though. Now playing Bubble Bobble, and it shows you the different ratings. So here, all the ratings are in the back. That's interesting. They don't put it on the front, they put it in the back. So you got Bubble Bobble, Mickey's Chase, Pac Man. Uh, Pac Man didn't get very good at all ratings. Our type got really good ratings, 3.9 for play control. That's awesome. Monopoly, uh, this is for the NES. This is uh, Parker Brothers, uh, made this game. Demon Fun was four. Monopoly is always a fun one. I think it's based it's based off of uh, the Jersey Shore, actually. Uh, that's where all the, the different roads and stuff are on, you know, Atlantic Avenue and stuff like that. So. Pretty cool. Classic game. Takes forever to beat, though. No, takes forever to play. This is your uh, NES Achievers. This is where uh, people submit their high scores, kind of like Twin Galaxies, but this is for the Nintendo or Game Boy in some cases as well. So you can submit your score. I'm not sure if you had to provide like a screen capture or whatever, but if you just write it, I'm not sure how that worked. Uh, more Consoles Corner. This is the uh, games. Uh, how do I unlock? Different tips of, of different games. You know, games are very challenging. This is where you, you would write in. This is where they answer them. This is, they always had contests going on, so you could win a trip for a NASCAR race. And second prize is pit crew jackets. Uh, third prize is you get um, basically t-shirts, <laughs> 10 power t-shirts. I almost rather have a t-shirt, to be honest with you. Top 30, uh, you got volume 23, April 1991. Top game is Super Mario Bros. 3. It's one of my favorite games for the NES. Uh, Mega Man 3 is classic. Turtles 2, I agree with those top three. Then you got Final Fantasy number four, Dr. Mario, Dragon Warrior. Two, Crystallis, uh, Legend of Zelda, and Tetris, and NES Fashion Football, wrapping up the top ten. I, would, I wouldn't I would put, I agree with all those, I wouldn't put necessarily football in the top ten, in my personal opinion. But I would probably move up Punch-Out probably to the top ten. There's so many good ones. Um, I would put Punch-Out probably in the top ten. Metroid's really good too. Baseball Stars is an underrated baseball game, in my personal opinion too. Uh, you have uh, now playing uh, Double Dragon 3. The Simpsons, Bart vs. Uh, the Space Mutants, has been ported to consoles, different consoles and computers. And, um, I'm a big fan of Simpsons, not a big fan of the game. Uh, this, the Simpsons games for the NES, there's three of them, and they're super hard, and I just didn't really enjoy it very much. My personal opinion, Robocop 2, Base Wars, you got uh, Metal Mac, Zombie Nation, we're wrapping up towards the end here. Pack Watch, this is Vice Project of Doom, and Battletoads, this is a look into the future games coming out for uh, the system. So you have uh, Battletoads, which is uh, rare, and that's a really fun fun game. You got 
that uh, Rare is a developer, it's not Rare as a game. I mean, let me clarify that. It's confusing. Dent Elliott NASCAR Challenge, F15 uh, Spike Eagle, or Strike Eagle, Ultimate Air Combat. And you always have the celebrity profile. This is Jeremy Miller. Uh, he was uh, part of Growing Pains, I think. I think yeah, it was Growing Pains. He was uh, starring Growing Pains. So he talks about his his gaming, etc., and so forth. So, and then one more page. I got Bolton, and this is coming up. The next episode, volume volume twenty four, is going to be Battletoads, the comics, the Lone Ranger, Vice Project of Doom, new for Game Boy Gauntlet two. So, th thanks for subscribing and thanks for commenting. Take care.